I would love to share a personal story of mine. I was working on wake frequency calculation. It was pretty interesting. I was shocked because one simple error kept coming a lot of times and I was confused as to what does this mean. The error was as follows. It said something related to taper ratio violation. I was too confused. I had never heard even the term before. And why does it keep saying taper ratio violation? I was confused. But why was this error coming in the first place? And then in the end of the video, I'll show you as to how these this error is uh, related to a standard and what happens if we don't follow the taper ratio. But before that, first let us get into it as to why was this error coming in the first place. This was coming because I was trying to modify the root OD or the base diameter. So basically I was trying to increase the tip diameter or I was trying to increase the base or the root diameter of the thermowell in order for the wake frequency calculations such that the thermowell passes those calculations. But I realized here that this is not the case always. We might notice that you know this is a simple method to just keep playing with the lens. But there are certain rules that we need to follow. And not always can we keep modifying these length. There is a certain parameter or certain ratio and certain other requirements that we need to maintain. Let's look into that first. So the first thing in taper ratio that we need to know is these two lengths. These are the bases of taper ratio. The first length is basically called as your root or base outer diameter and the next length which is called as your tip outer diameter. So these two are the most important parameters in taper ratio. Now let's get into the formula. So, so the taper ratio formula is very simple. As the word suggests, it's going to be a ratio. It's going to be a ratio of what? Ratio of the tip outer diameter to the ratio of the root or the base outer diameter of the thermowell. Now, even if it sounds so simple, it's got a very good significance in terms of our calculations as to when what happens when you increase the tip or the root of diameter in the later part of the video i'll show what if we you know increase the tip and what happens to this ratio or we increase the root and what happens to the ratio we'll look into that now first we look into from where have we found this taper ratio so asme ptc 19.3 is the standard we suggest that the taper ratio should be between 0.58 to 1. This is from the table which is 4-1-1 this table and it says the minimum and the maximum criteria. So you see here the taper ratio is from 0.58 to 1. Remember this values are very important and because it's a ratio it has no units to it. What if we don't follow this taper ratio criteria? Then let us see what happens. I think it would be fun to play with these numbers and see what happens. So let's take the first case. So before we go ahead, I wanted to ask you if you're finding these videos valuable. If you're finding these videos valuable, then I would like to share something with you that please try to subscribe the channel or press the bell icon because every Saturday I would be releasing new videos and I hope these educational videos would help in your career and in your life ahead. So before, so let's go now on to the next case. This case is the first case where the upper limit of taper ratio is violated. So let's try to, you know, go to the upper edge of the taper ratio and see what happens. This thermowell looks funny because we have violated the taper ratio. Here, let's imagine that your root or base OD is 1 inches, hypothetically, and your tip diameter or tip OD is 2 inches. Now here, if you would notice, we are kind of violating the uh, taper ratio and we can see that by the diagram itself. But remember what was our criteria as per ASME standard? It was 0.58 to 1. Now here let us see what happens. The taper ratio was nothing but tip OD to root OD. Now here the taper ratio is going to be 2 by 1 and the ratio is going to be 2. So here it has violated the uh, taper ratio criteria as per standard and you would see that maximum we can keep the tip OD equal to the root OD. So the ratio then would be 1 which is the maximum limit here. So that would be called a straight thermowells. So anything which is tapered is okay and up till having the same uh, length of the uh, root as well as the tip is okay. Anything above that is absolutely not acceptable by this standard. So if you try to keep increasing, you know, the um, 
active OD in order for the thermoval to pass the uh, wake frequency calculations. Your thermoval might pass if you are doing a manual calculation, but this would be the error which would pop up if you're doing it in SPI or some other software. So if it's a manual calculation, you have to be aware of this uh, limitation from 0.58 to 1. And you know, there are other cases to it as well. Even if you think that, oh, what if I take this length, there would be other concerns like the response time. If the tip OD is too huge, how would your uh, element be able to sense the temperature around it will take a lot of time for your thermo well or uh, to get heated up and then for the heat to transfer to the element and from there to your transmitter and so on. So the response time would be greatly affected by this uh, lens. Now let's go for the other interesting case. The lower limit of taper ratio is now violated. What if we do that? How would a thermo well look? Can you have a guess how would the thermo well look if we are trying to go to the below length of it? Let's look into it. This is how our thermo well will look now because we have violated the lower length of taper ratio. Here, let's imagine the root base OD is 2 inches, but the tip OD will make it as 0.5 inches. So it's a very small tip. Here, what happens is First, let's look into the standard that the standard had said that the uh, taper ratio has to be between 0.58 to 1. So now let's calculate and see. So the taper ratio is going to be this 0.5 plus this 2 and we'll take the ratio of this and this comes out to be 0.25. And we remember that this is violating the ASME standard which says it's from 0.58 to 1. So in this case, if you would notice the tip is too small and in this case is one uh, probable error is that the element itself might not be able to be inserted inside your thermo well, the temperature element. So what is the use of such a thermo well when your element can't be entered? And even this could lead to uh, what you call uh, mechanical integrity issues that could happen in such a thermo well because it's so thin. So in such cases, it's not advisable to go below the 0 0.58 uh, value. Now you might ask is so what is the base standard and how should I start with some lens? You might need some lens for this thing. So for that case, for thermo well, there are a lot of standards available for thermo well fabrications. My personal favorite is PIP standard. PIP PCFTE 100. It's an amazing standard, simple five page standard. And this fabrication gives you details whether it's if it's a tapered thermo well, which type of flange is there. It gives you absolutely every single detail, right from the thickness to the tip OD, etc. So I highly use the standard and later we can modify it as per uh, uh, the taper ratio to, you know, make the thermo well pass the wake frequency calculation if it is failing. Now let's see if I manufacture a thermo well as per this standard, will it, which, which I mean is PIP standard, will it uh, follow the ASME standard? Let's have a look at that now. So here's my thermo well. And as per PIP standards, the root or the base OD has to be 0.06 to 5 inches. And the tip OD has to be 0.6 to 5 inches. So let's take a ratio of them. So as we said, it's tip OD by root OD. The taper ratio is going to be 0.625 to 5 and 1.06 to 5. And the ratio comes out to be exactly 0.58. So this is exactly the lower limit of the taper ratio. Now you can play up till 1 the upper limit of taper ratio and try to adjust your thermo well in such a way that it passes wake frequency calculations. So in conclusion, remember that the taper ratio criteria mentioned in ASME PTC 19.3 is that the taper ratio must be between 0.58 to 1. Also, there is a small gift for you. And before we get to the gift, uh, if you have liked this video, then please subscribe and click the bell icon so that you know you can receive these videos every Saturday. I hope I can provide little value to your career. So uh, here is a small gift, which is an ebook on PIP instrumentation standards. It's in free ebook and almost there have been 1500 plus downloads from engineers from companies like Shell, DuPont, Technip, Worley, etc. So I think you might find this ebook valuable. The link is given in the description below. 
also if you have any doubts you can you know contact me via linkedin or through my website page or on to youtube comments whatever you're comfortable with thank you and i hope that you have a good and a successful career ahead